Today is the day. You ready, Mace? You bet. Em? Always. Let's do it. So where should we meet up? I was thinking uh, right here. Ah, genius. In front of Edie's house, and Edie thinks we're here to shoot a documentary and interview her about her Chiari Foundation. However, we're not. Can we put a microphone on you? Sure. I have some questions, though, about documentary. Are you the director? I'm just the sound guy. Okay. <laughs> so I'm probably the last person to ask. Almost time. You guys, let's go to 4K cameras here. I think we're ready to bring in the interviewer. Send Will in. Yeah? It's go time. Are you doing lots of different documentaries? Yeah, we work on a lot of different projects. Lots of different people, different locations. Oh, I used to travel a lot. Well, hello. Well, hi. Wait a minute. I've seen you on television before. Oh, have you? <laughs> this is my first time on TV. Just kidding. You have seen me because I'm on a show called Random oh Acts. <laughs> that is right. Edie, you are actually on our show right now. We're not shooting a documentary. We know all about you. We know all about your story. And we've been working with Lauren to give you an amazingly special day, not just because of the things that you've been through with your own struggles, but because of the incredible amount of time that you put into helping other people and just how many people you've helped. Thank you. <laughs> They've helped me more than I've helped them. You get so much more back than you ever give. What you just said is the Thank true mark of somebody who's genuinely uh, interested you. in the well-being of other people. Thank you. Well, you're so welcome. We have a beautiful scenic ride for you today. Oh my and, gosh. <laughs> uh, it's just a short, cute little trip, and we are wow. so excited. You're a stinker. You're in so much <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I should get up and hug everybody. Let me get my neck brace on, because I can't hold this head up. <laughs> So cool. You are so welcome. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. You guys really got me good. <laughs> All right, Edie, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right, well. Hey, guys, where's our ride? <laughs> this is our ride! Today we are taking you down to Arches National oh Park. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's right. We are flying you there. You still have your ranger badge? I've got my hat. <laughs> so you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Woo! Let's do this. Let's go. Right. Let's head to the hangar. Oh, you've got the best seat in the this house. This is awesome. Edie is inside, ready to go, and now she's getting out. I'm gonna try the back. Back there, maybe? You know I think so, because I can rest my head here. Okay. Let's go see the world from the sky. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Beautiful. This is just beautiful. Oh, there goes our house. It's like we're just a couple birds up here. It feels so good to be up and out again. So amazing. So, Mason just gave the Bronco to me. He's off to do some other things, but I'm not really sure what he's doing. But it all comes together in the end, usually. And I just got word. They're up in the helicopter. I got to get to the airport right now. And it's really hard to get this Bronco to go over 45 miles an hour. I'm coming in. This is so much fun. Almost at the Red Rocks. So even though this ride has been smooth and easy so far, we're gonna take a fun little rest break. I think we should just set the bird down lightly on top of this rock. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That's how awesome it is. Who does this have to? Okay, it's safe to get out. Let's go out and enjoy the view. So we have just landed in the middle of nowhere. And one of the best things you can do with a helicopter is land in the middle of nowhere. And we are hundreds of feet above the valley floor. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> so cool. Time to take a neck break. It's like holding up a bowling ball with a toothpick all the time. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> what did we just do? 
We just found this butte in the middle of nowhere, in country that Edie is familiar with and loves. It's so incredible to be back out here in this Red Rock country. It's such a gift, I've hoped. I've hoped for many years to be able to see this again. This is truly incredible. You know, when I was a ranger giving tours, we could make everybody, for one minute, we'd have to be totally silent, because most people can't handle. Silence for Total ears. silence, yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's give it a go. <gasps> we made it. We're at the airport, I think. Oh yeah, the airplane's here. This is an airport. Now all we gotta do is wait for Edie. And I gotta stay hidden. Edie, did you enjoy the little detour? Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Absolutely, the glorious detour. Right, here we go. So Edie, tell us a little about your story in your own words. The first two or three years of this journey, it was like, I've got to get back to my old life. I need to be able to run five miles. I did five surgeries in 18 months. I tried to get back to my old life. And then the next two years are spent, I've got to get to my new life. I'll push through this and I'll have a new normal. And then the last few years, it's like, this is my life. And I never will be happy if I can't learn to be happy with what I've been given right in this moment. It's very inspiring. you got to be happy at whatever stage of life you're in. Okay, bring them on down. Here we go, Emily. Here we go. There she is. I'm trying to be sneaky. So we made it down. Matt, thank you so much. That was amazing. You were so welcome. We had such a good time, didn't we, guys? Yes, that was awesome. awesome. Thank such you so much. a beautiful much. morning. Now we have a short ride over to the park, and uh, we wanted you to do it in style. So we brought this. Exactly, Edie, 40 years ago, you were driving into Arches uh, National Park to be a ranger in, in a Bronco just I like this. I was, this. I was. So you ready to go? Woohoo! let's do this thing. Woo it's right. beautiful, awesome. Matt, you're the man. Thanks, guys, have a good time. Get on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. It's fun. We're going to take this smooth and easy. You just tell me if we need to slow down. All right. So I made it up here to the trailhead, and we already know this hike means a lot to Edie, but we found a way to make it perhaps a bit more surprising. So everybody come up this way. We're gonna give you your best cheer when you see them come on up. When Edie gets here to the trailhead, we're surprising her with all of her family, including her newest granddaughter, whom she has not met yet. Here we are, we made it, yay! Hi there, have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> They're just into the park, everybody. Feels like the first day on the job all over again. Huh, cool. And I get why you love driving this. There's something so comforting about the feeling of this Bronco. Isn't it fun? It's fantastic. She's supposed to be in the desert. It's an adventure, right? And you're more of the landscape. You're in a big, fancy four-wheel drive with the air conditioning going. Yep. This is an experience. Like the sound and the smell. It's an experience. Even after I was a ranger, we used to just grab the kids. We had some Moabs on a whim. We just go. Mason, be ready. Less than a minute away. Copy that. So which arch is that? That's turret arch right there. And then you've got the north and south windows, and then you can see them together. There's another window that looks just like that. It's called the spectacles. Here they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. What forms the arches is you've got this Dewey Bridge mudstone that's really soft. And then on top of that. <laughs> Sweetheart, she's so beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys and so honored by this. What a big surprise. Got me good. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I love you. 
Awesome. Yeah, how was it? Quite a surprise. What's your favorite part? This is my favorite part. Wow, you guys surprised me. You got me good. So we're just a couple hundred yards from where you stood on your first day, and we've ridden in a helicopter, we've driven in a Bronco, and now we're about to take a hike with your family. I'm looking so forward to that. Let's go, guys. Let's get going. How you doing, Edie? Yeah, I'm great. Let's go this way. <laughs> the kids used to call me Lady Edie when they were little. She's back. <laughs> So we have one more surprise for Edie. A few members from her Kiari community that she's really helped and affected their lives are waiting for us at the base of the arch. So is it called window arch because of the, uh -huh. like, a little picture? It looks like a window, yeah, when you get up in there, you can see forever. We're almost there. It's so good to be back here. Whoa. Oh, wow, that's wow. really nice. Turret arch. Just as beautiful as ever. Isn't it incredible? <laughs> it's unreal. Thank you, guys. Edie, you deserve it. You know, you, you think you give something, but it's been my experience that giving is actually quite a selfish thing because it always returns tenfold. Well, then, you're one of the most selfish people I know. I am. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Edie, it has been quite the adventure today and not a bad view to end our day Gorgeous. on here. Gorgeous. Huh? It's beautiful. It's home. It's Edie, been awesome. You are awesome. You've helped so many people. And I know you always deflect that when people uh, put the focus on you, but you have made a difference. Through your advocacy in the Kiari community and getting the word out about this condition, you have saved lives and made an incredible difference. And we know because of the nature of Kiari, you've never actually met any of the people whose lives you've literally changed. Well, today, we're gonna change that. Come on in, ladies. <laughs> oh my God, sweetheart. I was stuck in bed for a year and a half. I couldn't sit up for more than about 20 minutes at a time. And she got me an appointment with a doctor, had the surgery, and I'm, I'm up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so awesome. Oh my gosh, I just wanna hold your head. You went on my first. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, I love it. Like my adopted daughter. There is no way to put into words what that woman has done. She's been kind. She's been encouraging. It's so great to finally see the face, the woman be able to give her a hug and say thank you. These women are the heroes with what they deal with every day. So what has this support from ED meant to you? Like, Absolutely how has it helped everything. you? It's made a huge difference. It's just knowing that there's somebody who has gone through so much and that knows resources that are out there. It's made a huge difference knowing where you I just want to throw it out there that I didn't nominate you. <laughs> it was Crystal. Crystal! <laughs> no one deserves it more than you. Gosh! But I am so humbled. Thank you. I'm very humbled. This is awesome. We need a group hug. I usually call for the group hug. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're not in charge, man. Edie's in charge. <laughs> to hug her and to feel our hearts kind of beat together. It's emotional because there aren't words to tell her thank you. That's our show, everybody. Big thanks to Matt Galland, Extreme Modus, Hutch Broncos, and Arches National Park. Randomacks on three. One, two, three. Randomacks. Aren't you glad you watched that video? National, park yourself in front of your computer and subscribe to our channel. Man, that would rock. Oh, <laughs> like rock. I <laughs> Thank get it. Thank you. I am it's more of a sandstone, very, but whatever. Very funny, too. Mason came up with that. <laughs>